guys welcome to another video so today we will be talking about flags we often use flags in our codes uh, to check the status uh, of some process or something and the flags are very important and quite often used in writing programs so the point is how do you declare or define your flags so maybe you use int flag or maybe you int it underscore t flag or maybe int flag now let me tell you int will be using around 2 bytes of memory you int 8 will be using 1 byte of memory and bull flag though uh, it stores only 0 or 1 it will still use 1 byte of memory so what if you run out of memory and you have a lot of flags that you want to use in your code so what we'll do today is uh, we'll see a method using which you can store 8 flags in one single byte so let's get started so uh, I'll define a variable like int a or u int 8 underscore t a equal to 0 and what we'll do is define hash define flag 0 it read a comma 0 so uh, by writing this what we are doing is we are trying to read the bit 0 of variable a so uh, which will be renamed as flag 0 which we will call it as flag 0 so similarly I will define all the other 7 flags so I will just paste it so we will rename the flags this is flag 1 and we will read the bit 1 flag 2 we will read the bit Flag 3, we'll read bit 3. Flag 4, we'll read bit 4. Flag 5, bit 5. Flag 6, bit 6. Flag 7, bit 7. So uh, we have defined all the bits for variable a now uh, let us write what setup void setup and uh, serial dot again 9600 we'll write loop void loop ok so what if I want to set flag 2 what should I do? So what I'll do is I'll write it as bit write a comma two comma one and uh, we'll print like one so serial But print ln flag sorry we will print flag 2 flag 2 is it so let us try compiling this code So you can see the flag 2 is set. What we will do is we will write some if conditions and check what is the status of all the flags. So if flag 0 equal to, equal to 1 then we will print serial dot print ln flag 1 is sorry flag 0 is set 
similarly we'll just copy paste this for all the other flags so this is for 0 this will be for flag 1 let's say flag 1 is set this will be for flag 2 and flag 2 is set flag 3 flag 3 flag 4 flag 4 5 5 6 flag 6 and one more is left so this will be flag 7 and this is flag 7 ok so what I'm doing is I'll be setting flag 2 uh, we don't need this and uh, we'll see which of this prints Okay, done uploading you'll see flag 2 is set right now as we have said flag 2 has 1 what if let's try setting some more flags with right a comma 5 comma 1 uh, we'll set one more flag with right a comma 7 comma 1 so let us dump this code and check if the flags are set or not you can see the flags have been set so in this way you can uh, in this way you can create 8 flags using just one byte of memory so in, in this way you can optimize your code if you are running out of memory and having memory problems with while working with Arduino so this is it guys thank you see you again